All right, I'm back. And we got the same beer that we had in the unboxing. This is from Great Notion Brewing Company. And it's called Puffery Lager Beer. And what got me by surprise is that writing on the top, it's a Munich-style Dunkel. I was thinking it was going to be like a Pilsner or something of the sort. Um, since it just said lager beer, it was kind of undescriptive. But then I noticed afterwards on top it said Munich-style Dunkel. So it is what it is. It doesn't tell me doesn't tell me um, what the ABV is, but I had the uh, Pilsner flute busted out because I thought it was going to be a Pilsner. So wrong glassware, but no harm, no foul. Good shit. Really tasty. Has some nice dark fruit, some sweetness, and it's really drinkable overall. Very nice. Quaffable, even. Okay, so this is Sample Sunday. Um, I have been sitting on this sample for a long time. Marion sent it to me, um, and it's basically a, an unreleased scent that Shannon's made for somebody, and it's called Ashtray, and so I don't have any artwork or anything to show you guys because it was just a sample. It was just sent to me in some wax paper by uh, Marion the Barbarian. If you're unaware of MTB, dude has a great YouTube channel. He's a real cool guy, a personal friend of mine, and uh, he's very generous. Also, might as well say, he uh, he sells Maddie Lindholm Shaving Supply stuff, a great uh, artisan out of Sweden, and Maddie Lindholm also has his own YouTube channel. And then he sells um, brushes from Maddie, soaps from Maddie, and then razors that he buys vintage and kind of cleans up and then um, sells at a great price. He also um, gets razors from John June, which also has a YouTube channel. And John June makes these hot rotted or um, modified gold dollars, throws a better set of scales on them, and then kind of modifies them to look a lot more badass. So this one was actually a gift from Marion the Barbarian. If you, um, if you saw my unboxing video, you'll see that he sent me uh, Obsession, as well as this straight razor here. So it is a gold dollar, but it had been modified and put a new set of scales on, and now it looks badass. Anyways, Marion, thank you for sending those to me. Thank you for sending me this sample. And let's get into the shave. We got our Lancaster Razor Works bowl here. Beautiful bowl, staple of my daily shaves, as you well know. Um, and we got ourselves a very luxurious looking lather made. I don't know which Shannon Soaps base this is, but uh, it really doesn't matter which one it is because they're all fantastic. Now this here is a That Darn Rob brush that has um, some sort of tuxedo bulb on it. It has a lot of backbone. I actually don't like the knot in this one. Perhaps it was set um, a little too low. But um, this was a gift from J.R. Reyes. So Reyes Restores, if you're unaware of Reyes Restores on Instagram. He, um, he, he's a shaving hobbyist, but he also does great knotting services and restoration work. And the dude is a total badass, very generous as well. So, Reyes, I know we haven't talked in a while, but still appreciate the gift you sent me, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so that's what we're going to be using today. Now, Marion didn't have the set notes for this soap. Um, I think he just had a general idea of what it was supposed to be. I talked to him before the video. And um, so somebody, you know, was commissioning a fragrance to be made from Shannon's or something of the sort. Shannon was making it for someone, I believe. And, um... <clears throat> and... It's meant to be kind of like a a lounge, like not a cigar lounge per se, but maybe like a speakeasy or a bar scene type deal. And so what Marion was trying to describe to me, and bear in mind that he might not be 100% dead on because he wasn't the one who commissioned this, but... He was saying, you know, like leather chairs, tobacco, smoke, um, and 
you know, things like that. And so I was like, okay, sounds good. And so when I put it in the bowl, I smashed it into my Lancaster bowl. I took a whiff and I was like, that's pretty pleasant. Like there's something bright in there. I don't get all darkness. Um, but once I, once I lathered it, the smoke came up a little bit. The tobacco came up a little bit, I believe. And uh, if I'm wrong, like if Shannon or someone watches this, please uh, correct me or help me out in the comments. But whatever this is, is quite warm. And that's a beautiful looking lather. I mean, that nice and dense and fluffy and luxurious. Looks very nice. But, um... Whatever this fragrance is, is nice and warm. I do get, like, a smoke or something of the sort. But there's also, like, a bright note, and I don't know if it's, like, fruity in nature. But whatever it is, keeping it from being too warm, too dark, I appreciate that. It's a, it's a very nice fragrance. I, I don't mind this at all. Um, I, it's not available, obviously. It's unobtainium. Um, I don't know if it's coming to market. Sorry, but I don't know. But, it smells nice. I like it. I'm not sensitive to smoke whatsoever. So here's this JJ Shorty Straight Razor. And um, he modified it to where... It, uh, it has this huge notch, and it's a little bit shorter than a general um, gold dollar blade is. So it's been modified. I'll give you a look at the uh, grind there. And this does have John June's edge on it, so I look forward to that. And overall, the red scales and the, um, the new shape of the blade, I think this thing looks badass. I just... Gotta be honest, has a nice white wedge sandwich in between those red scales. Looks very nice. It's funny, I could just hear the hairs. <laughs> I heard the hairs popping as I went along. It's definitely a different experience having that um, shorter blade length. It's almost like shaving with a chevette or something. <clears throat> Very nice though. I've never used John June's Edge. I've heard good things. I will say, I'm going with the grain. And it's like, I'm feeling some resistance or something. Now, I didn't strop it before I used it. So this just, I took it out of the box. I wiped the uh, oil off the blade set up my shave of the day and now I'm shaving so I didn't strop it beforehand I didn't want uh, my stropping to possibly um, affect the uh, performance of the edge I wanted to to try the edge you know as is it is cutting though there's no doubt about it it is cutting <clears throat> and I know some people don't like it when you show the the hair that's being mowed down, but I don't give a shit. All right. So I don't know. Not the uh, not the best edge I've ever felt.
perhaps something happened in transit. Not sure. It's definitely getting the job done, and it's not uncomfortable by any means. But it just kind of, just kind of doesn't exactly feel like laser sharp, like for whatever reason it feels like there's like a little bit of resistance when I'm going through my beard growth. I only got one day's worth of beard growth, so it's not like... It's not like this is some humongous task to ask <laughs> of the uh, razor. <clears throat> but the blade looks real nice. I just think perhaps, perhaps I need to get a uh, fresh edge on this bad boy. <clears throat> just gonna get my lower neck a little bit. Cause these hairs do creep up. Shannon's is good shit, man. No problems with the, uh, the slickness. It has that beautiful, luxurious density that just feels so nice. It just enhances the experience. <clears throat> Alright, let's get a little bit more moisture on the face. We'll redistribute some of that leather. And then we'll... Lather up for pass two against the grain, and hopefully this um, doesn't get too uncomfortable because that's a uh, it's a possibility with going against the grain. <clears throat> All right, I do I do like the look of the razor though. I do enjoy the way that it looks. It's a uh, red is obviously my jam, so the the translucent red scales. Very nice. The uh, the modified blade looks pretty badass. And I've never had a blade that was like shorter like that, so that's kind of cool. Alright, let's get some more. Get some more lather here. Just an absolute shit ton of lather left. Very luxurious, very dense, kind of has that uh, like melted marshmallow consistency where it's just uber dense. I wonder which uh, soap base this one is. This is nice. Maybe it's in the uh, Rust Belt Reserve formula maybe. That's her, uh, that's Shannon's, like, high-end premium offering. Oh, yeah. That lather's nuts. All right, let's get this against the grain going. <coughs> Fingers crossed it's going to be comfortable. So far, so good. I'm kind of liking the, uh, the shorter blade length as well. Feels very uh, maneuverable. That's not too shabby, actually. Uh, <clears throat> I must have done a good amount of uh, work on pass one because it definitely isn't as rough as I was expecting this against the grain to be. Considering it was kind of, it wasn't like entirely uncomfortable, but I could tell it doesn't quite meet that same level 
that some of my uh, other straight razor edges meet for my preferences that is but it's definitely still removing whiskers I can see it so that's good <clears throat> I just hope hope I'm not left with a uh, shit ton of irritation because that would not be cool Come on. Trying to pull some of my beard hairs down with it. Not too shabby. It's definitely not the uh, most comfortable, most sharp edge I've ever tried, but like I said something could have happened during transit. Who knows? It went from, you know, Europe to the States. And from one side of the states to the other side of the states, so shit could have happened, who knows. But, uh, it's easy enough to find someone to put a new edge on it, and then shouldn't be no problems after that. Alright, just cleaning it up just a little bit, and then we'll, uh, get some aftershave on. Alright. So we'll rinse the face. That concludes the shave. It looks like over here I got a weeper. But other than that, not too shabby. Alright. Get this lather off. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I pretty much just hung out with friends. I uh, did a little bit around the house, which is good because I've been going, 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 and the house was getting neglected a little bit, so kind of nice to uh, to get the uh, old house back in order. Man, tons of residual slickness left from that soap. Just... I could just feel it on my fingers. I could feel it on my skin, on my face. Got the uh, luxurious Lancaster towel. So the scent on ashtray. What a terrible name. <laughs> the scent on ashtray. Uh, thumbs up for me. I liked it. And uh, that's a, to be expected because... If CDB doesn't like it, then chances are I will like it. <laughs> we find ourselves on opposite ends of the uh, fragrance spectrum. And so this one here was a winner for me. I said I have no idea if it'll ever be released, but if it does... Definitely something I might be interested in. damn lather out of my beard all right we'll get we got whatever's left off camera all right so obviously I don't have a matching aftershave product so we're gonna go with Chicago grooming company formerly oleo soapworks this is their Windy City Barbershop, and um, this is some good stuff. This one, it's a, a barbershop fragrance, but with a twist. It has a smoke note as well. Quality industry standard restrictor. Nothing to complain about there. We gave ourselves a nice big round of aftershave on that one. Oh, yeah. Nice alcohol burn. Feel the burn. 
It was gonna dry down. It's gonna feel very nice. I know it. I absolutely love the scent on this one. This is one. I think if she made a uh, EDT of this, I would not hesitate to buy it. Windy City Barbershop is phenomenal. I love the scent. One of my favorite barbershops. Unique because of that smoke note. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I definitely appreciate you. I hope you have a good weekend and a good upcoming week. That was Sample Sunday, and I'll catch you on the next one.